Today's case is one of the longest running cold cases in the state of Michigan. It is the disappearance of Paige Winkowski. Paige Winkowski was born February 2nd, 1960 in Lansing, Michigan. She was a substitute teacher. On May 24th, 1990, at around 11.30 p.m., Paige dropped off her mother at Detroit Metro Airport. She then headed to visit a friend in Canton Township between 2.30 and 2.45 p.m. She was last seen at a nearby store west of I-275 in Canton Township where she bought a beer. That beer was later found in her car. The clerk says she remembers seeing Paige. She was wearing a multicolored, loose-fitting pants with floral pattern and a very distinctive necklace with a white silk shirt. She was last seen on the shoulder of I-96 near Fowlerville. Witnesses say they saw Paige standing on the shoulder of the interstate talking to an unknown man. They were standing next to a maroon colored minivan. Hours later, her 1996 Oldsmobile Cutlass was found. It was on the side of the road with the keys still in the ignition and the engine still running. One of Paige's shoes was found jammed under the driver's seat, her purse and wallet also found in the car. But Paige was nowhere to be found. She had vanished. Many people have claimed to seeing Paige driving west on I-96 that night. A woman said she believed she had seen her at the rest stop. Two truck drivers also have claimed to see her driving her car on I-96, or at least someone looking like her. Why did she stop here? What caused her to stop? No physical damage to the car? The mechanically sound? Police believe that whoever Paige was talking to must have got her to pull over on the side of the road, lured her out of the car somehow, and possibly abducted her. What started as an abandoned vehicle turned missing person report was now an abduction homicide. Was this just a crime of opportunity that they were able to get her pulled over? Very possible. It looks like that she was taken quickly. Investigators found her car, but it had not been processed as a crime scene because at that time it was considered by the responding officer to be an abandoned vehicle. There was no damages to the car whatsoever and the door was unlocked. Since the vehicle was thought to be abandoned, it was later just towed. They towed the car in and they didn't record the scene. While examining the vehicle, police found several fingerprints and palm prints. But a match has yet to be identified on any law enforcement database. Some on the roof, some on the trunk, some on the door. But that's about it. It's all the physical evidence we really have. And that's almost impossible. That's like a needle in a haystack. Really. Yeah, that's, that's beyond a needle in a haystack. That's, that's a, needle, a needle in a hay field. To find a woman who would go somewhere without her shoes and without her purse, that was extremely unusual. So what the heck did happen to Paige? Where is she now? If you guys like videos like these, then don't forget to check out my last video. I will leave it linked on the screen right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my future episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.